In this video, I'm going to go over a few more common frustrations with Microsoft Word 2010. I call this section Other. In this video, I'm going to go through margins and also orientation of pages. So, first thing is margins. So, when you open up Microsoft Word, the standard margins for Microsoft Word are set. So, you've automatically got a margin at the top of about 2.5 centimeters, a margin at the left of the same, a margin at the right of the same, and then a margin at the bottom of the same. So, you can change these by uh, double clicking these margins and changing the settings here um, in the page setup uh, dialog window. Or, a nice quick shortcut that they've introduced is if you go to the page layout tab on the ribbon and go to margins narrow, it'll automatically set this to a narrow margin so that you've got more space on your page. And so that's a nice quick and easy solution to changing the margin settings. One of the other things that I'd like to go through in this video is page orientation. And the reason I'd like to go through this is because I once had a student who came to me and in his coursework wanted a landscape uh, page in, inserting into a whole document that was standardly set as portrait. So if I can just give you this example, what he wanted was, uh, let's say for example on page one, he wanted his uh, page layout to be portrait. Uh, he then inserted page breaks, so he inserted a page break, and his page two he wanted to be landscape, but then his page three, again inserting a page break, his page three, he wanted to be back to portrait. So if I just zoom out here to demonstrate this, if I just zoom out, so we can see all three pages here. So he wanted portrait, this he wanted to be landscape, and this he wanted to be portrait again. So what you might think of doing is you might think of clicking on this second page that you want set to landscape, going to the orientation option in the page layout tab and clicking landscape. Unfortunately, what that does is it changes every page in the whole document to landscape. And you'll notice again, if I change it back, it does exactly the same. So when you change the orientation, it will change the orientation of every page in your document. That is, unless you do what I'm about to show you now. So if I go back to just a single page and I zoom in, what I should have done or what the student had to do was um, at the point in which he wanted to insert a different page orientation, so here at this point, uh, what he needed to do was, instead of inserting a page break here, he needed to actually insert a section break here. And again, if I just do this, so I insert a section break of next page, again, it treats it just like a page break. So here I type in landscape, and everything would seem, well, there's not much difference. But because I've inserted a section break instead of a page break, it's as if I'm treating this page in a different way that I've treated the previous page. So let me just demonstrate by zooming out. So now page one has had a section break introduced to create page two. So if I click inside page two now and change the orientation to landscape, you can see that I can now have portrait and landscape because I've introduced a section break. Now, what I would then do is I would then introduce another section break after page two. So here I clicked after the text, break, section break, next page. I've now again obviously got a, um, a, a landscape page because it defaults to the previous page settings. If I just type in portrait here to demonstrate. But what I can do because I introduced the section break is I can now go orientation of this page and change it to portrait. So I zoom out, you can see I've got portrait, landscape, portrait. And the way I've been able to do that is by inserting a next page section break in my document. Very useful and handy tip there. So what I've done in this video is go over some other common frustrations in Microsoft Word and I've covered the margins and I've covered the section breaks to play around with the orientation of your pages.